Congratulations, second season of The Wheel of Time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you as well. Now, tell tell us the the scope of season two compared to season one um, this time around, both on special effects and production. So if I may start with the production design, the, the what is different about this season that we are traveling more and also our heroes are traveling separately. So we are following their path, we are following the journey, but each journey is slightly different. So it's not that they are walking through the same park or some same place, but they are walking through a completely different world. And our task was actually to create the different and interesting world for each character to walk through. And you know, okay, we have that. Uh, you know, you know that in each book of the Robert John Wheel of Time, there's a map, and we actually create that. It's kind of like a map, still like a traveling, showing the travel, and showing how they went from the, you know, through the story of the season two. And our task was actually create an interesting journey, visually and dramatically for them. And we saw more because, you know, like, as I said, like our group was uh, divided into the smaller group. So they travel mostly alone with the different friends and different people, but uh, it's a slightly different than the first season was. Yeah, well, the first season was uh, was uh, a lovely work. Uh, we create some kind of work, you know, and uh, I, I felt that like, uh, the special effects are a big part of it, you know, that make 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 it look uh, believable. And uh, now on the season two, we had at the high level, which we just uh, left on the season one, and we wanted to uh, be even better, you know. So so means uh, uh, we just uh, came uh, to each set which was uh, presented to us, you know, and uh, we tried to make it as uh, nice as possible means that uh, wherever it was possible to bring a uh, small atmospheric smoke, you know, to to make it more alive, um, uh, wherever we could uh, put the flames, which would be realistic, you know, we did it uh, wherever we had a, a, a sequence where there was a fight or battle, you know, then we tried to be involved in it and uh, we did some special effects there. So, so uh, we just kept the high standard and uh, uh, we tried to be even better than we were on the first season. So so uh, it, it was a fa fabulous work, you know. Oh, it's excellent. Andre, could you uh, talk about the uh, the city Kaiwin um, there? Um, because it, it's very impressive. And how, how do you basically, you know, um, build a production set that looks so e expansive? So, for the, for example, for the whole story um, related with the Canaheim city was kind of important that mixture of the European uh, uh, medieval architecture, mostly like the French architecture of the, you know, um, 15th and 14th century, and uh, also with the influence of the Japanese uh, inter designs, which was very visible in the pattern and in, uh, in uh, furniture, for example, and after that, uh, you know, we kind of mixed these two styles together with a little bit of, of course, we had a little bit of Korean inspiration there as well, in some details, like, uh, for example, the rooftops, um, you know, above the gate to the city that was really like a directly inspiration from one castle in Korea. And it was kind of like that kind of that mixture of the styles can give us that uh, that scope of the of the town. And after that, um, you know, we use the knowledge of the fact that, um, you know, for, you know, 2015, we built for the, let's see, it's called Nightfall in Prague, the, the big lot set of the medieval city. And we said, okay, we will use it as our base and we will use the ground of it and we will, you know, add more, rebuild it and actually kind of create our city from that base. So knowing the fact that, okay, there's a set which could be used and could be revamped and could be designed. And after adding more to it, and actually we built more walls and you know, completed the whole four gate and we built a lot of uh, new buildings in that set. And that was the way how we actually approach it, you know, like to get that scale all together, like from the concept point of view and from the practical point of view. Wow. Andre, one of, one of the things that people love of the Wheel of Time is the magic. 
but in uh, season two, you know, we are introduced to new enemies like the sunshine and um, along with the eyes to die. Could you talk about um, the magic uh, besides just the channeling? Now we're talking about other type of magic, such as, you know, wind magic and trying to, uh, you know, accentuate that. You know, yeah, there's a lot of magic that's great about the fantasy, you know, world that uh, you uh, you can uh, you can create uh, uh, things which uh, usually you shouldn't be, you wouldn't be, but uh, uh, we uh, th there is a mixture of uh, special effects and visual effects with the magic, you know. The, so so the, the final result it's done uh, later on in post production. So so uh, I see some of it uh, later on on the screening. Uh, and uh, I have no idea what we are actually doing until I see it, you know. So, so uh, the base is uh, always uh, to get some kind of uh, equipment, uh, help help the help the uh, the effect done by by, uh, for example, wind machines, or uh, we've got another air compressors, you know, which can can uh, can uh, be uh, used. Uh, but uh, as I said, the final one. Uh, it's, uh, finished by the visual effects. I'm always looking for what the final result and uh, what I saw so far on season two. It's it looks perfect. Most excellent, Andre. The White Tower we've seen in season one, but season um, two, the um, how do you want to change the the looks of the White Tower itself um, from from the inside to to make it more bigger and better than what it was from the previous season well there are like a two tasks for us like the first of all in the first season we were like a, everybody was like a going for the first six episodes like it was okay let's go to the white tower let's go to the white tower so okay white tower so was like a kind of place to go nobody been there nobody saw that and it's actually and everything is kind of like a shiny and glossy but at the end, we saw just a little bit of it because we saw just the uh, kind of that main room and the main hall there, and few few corridors. We don't we didn't have a time to spend more time in within the tower. And um, in the uh, during the second season, we had an opportunity to stay there more, and also actually kind of realize that not everything is so white and so shiny and so bright as we saw in the first season. So actually. Suddenly, we can age the, the set a little bit more. We can like uh, work with the fact that actually not everything is bright and shiny, and not every single character, as not as, as every single asset die is uh, is a nice one to other people, and is not not everybody has the same kind of approach to the uh, to the task, and that's kind of give us the chance to create more rooms, in different places, different corridors, and actually also you know show the there's also a word of the, you know, these uh, young girls who want to be these novices who want to be our sedais, and suddenly they live in that kind of monastery, very spare life, very basic life. They have to work all the days and be kind of like a slaves of the sedais. So that's kind of like observance of the sedais, I should say. And there was really a kind of opportunity to show more about that word and also kind of like a, to add more like aging and uh, details that you actually say, okay, this is like a big um, monastery, I should say, with uh, all these assets, like uh, taking care about uh, the big stuff, but also there's a lot of like a small fights between them and small thing. And also there's a lot of egos working between these assets. And suddenly we kind of believe that that's the world which we know and which we can imagine more than just the shiny tower. So that was really fun to extend that word and show more of that. Most excellent. Well, fans will certainly enjoy uh, season two. If I if I had an hour, I could basically pick uh, scene by scene, but I don't have that. So <laughs> gentlemen, thank you very much for carrying this conversation. With